Hey everybody, happy St. Patrick's Day. I am wearing green. It kind of looks gray on the screen. <laughs> I don't have much green when I went in my closet. I don't, I think I had two options. So I was happy. This is kind of a muted green. It's not really a Kelly green, <laughs> but it is green. Hope you're all doing well. If you're here, say hello. I love to chat. Turn my comments on. I have a twofer for you today. Um, I just got off the phone with my daughter and she said, so do you have bread and milk? Because it might snow eight inches here in our city, Kansas City. I guess I have been clueless and haven't been paying attention to the news, but this might be our our freaky snow day. You know how there's always one. There's always one last weird snow situation. Um, again, happy St. Patrick's Day. I'll show you the little project we made on Monday for Make It Monday. It was It's a little pot of gold, uh, rainbow, um, basket, little basket. The word escapes me. Um, and there's still time to put one together. If you have some circle dies, it's, it's easy peasy. The basket doesn't really require anything but cutting. Um, I have all the information for how to make this basket over on my, um, my blog, theplaidpoodle.com. So um, all the measurements, the replay of the video and everything is over there if you would still like to try and squeeze in a St. Patrick's Day basket of goodies for someone you love. Hi Carol, you're supposed to get snow Friday. Maybe it's moving your way. I am just, I was like, what? I don't need it. I don't need snow. Not eight inches anyway. Snow is pretty, but I don't need eight inches. Okay, today, I'm going to make two little projects, one card and then a little 3D item using the same bundle. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hi, Donna. Here's the butterfly bouquet that became available on March 2nd, and I've just been, I've just had time to play with it um, the last day or two. So um, I just was on the fence about getting this but I love it and I'm so glad I did it's one of those keepers that I'll have forever um, I went ahead and got the whole shebang um, the paper the dies the stamp set and the um, uh, natural touch specialty paper hi Donna hi mom um, because I just wanted it all and um, I'm glad I did um, and you save 10% when you buy the bundle. So I got the paper, which is six by six butterfly a brilliance. Look at that. And I'm going to show you something fun with this paper on our project today. You get eight sheets of double sided prints. So eight, uh, eight different, eight sheets of each print and they're all double sided. It's got the really on trend, uh, watercolor tie-dye look some of these I used two of my favorite prints from that this is cute looks like they're all in the clouds from the collection in our projects today this is kind of cool I've seen some fun things done with that one um, just really happy 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 which we all could use a lot of happy so I will have all the information up over on my blog or if you go to leslie.stampinup.net and click on the shop now button you can also read all about the butterfly bouquet and the products that I'm using today hi Rachel <laughs> you're in love with the butterflies the only thing better would be hummingbirds yeah hummingbirds are so popular Carol says she ordered the butterflies today, but it said the DSP was low inventory. Um, if you ordered it 
and it said low inventory, I bet you'll get it. Um, if it says uh, back ordered, you'll still get it. Um, it'll just be longer than however your normal shipping is. So, yeah. I've ordered things that said low inventory. It's just kind of a warning. If you want it now, get it. Okay, this is the little card, and I completely cased this card off of one of our artisan design team members. His name is Martin Stone. I followed him on social media for a long time. He is uh, one of our demonstrators over in the UK, and this is my version of his card. Um, he is a very talented artist, and um, I just loved his card, so I wanted to, to recreate it because I wanted to show you something cool about the... Um, the designer series paper. You only get eight sheets of these, or you do get eight sheets. We usually only get four. And the dies that go with the set, you get a lot of dies. You get this die, which will cut out two, four, six butterflies, and it cuts them separate. And then you also get these fun um, outline um, dies that are always fun to. Um, die cut out. They're very pretty. Um, these will cut out the stamped images, which um, I'll show you the stamped images here in a minute. We're going to use them in our card. Um, but I wanted to show you what the dies do. Put them away before I was ready because I thought this was so cool. And I'll probably order multiples of this paper. <laughs> but look how that die sits right on the designer series paper. And those are the butterflies I'm using in my project today. Isn't that cool? It cuts all of those out. <laughs> so you can do that eight times. I love it when Stampin' Up! does that. And the images are very beautiful. The stamped images as well. Here is a little sheet. I was kind of playing with it last night. I was trying to make a monarch butterfly. Um, so this is using Memento ink and, and my Stampin' Blends, but you could also um, use just colored stamps. Okay, to start off with, we're gonna use an eight and a half by a five and a half inch um, piece of cardstock. This is so saffron. It's one of the um, coordinating colors from the paper. Um, I've scored it at four and a fourth. And I've got a little mess here. I don't know how that happened, so I'm gonna put that on the inside. <laughs> and then I have a piece of four inch by five and a fourth inch so saffron that I'm gonna stamp and layer right on top of there. I just kind of like the layered look. And this stamp is humongous. It's literally a background stamp, I would call it. I mean, it's the size of a background stamp. So I'm going to use my Stamparatus, but if you do not have a Stamparatus, you are for sure going to need a larger um, block for this stamp because it is so big. This is the Stampin' Up! Block F. Um, and I'll show you how my, it just makes it so much easier to um, stamp this image using the Stamparatus, so that's why I pulled it out. If you're a serious stamper, Stamparatus is something you probably would like to invest in. I use mine all the time, and I use it a lot with the red rubber stamps. Okay, what I did on the card is I just wanted a kind of a background, so I took some So Saffron ink, and I'm going to ink up my stamp. And you all, you probably can't see because my, my picture is so small in the corner, but my eye started twitching about a month ago, 
And this week, it has, it's like a constant twitch. I was putting my makeup on this morning, and I noticed it. It was just really going to town. It's bugging the heck out of me, so I think I'm going to make a, would I make an eye doctor appointment or a doctor appointment? They say that caffeine can make it worse. I mean, you know, when you Google it. Um, isn't that pretty? That's so pretty. But, um... I only have one cup of coffee a day, and then I guess I have iced tea once in a while, but not every day. <sighs> so I don't know, but it's bugging the heck out of me. <laughs> Stress. Oh, the DSP is why supplies last. Oh, guys, I got to do my order right when we're done. If you are interested in this uh, DSP, grab it. So this is not continuing into the uh, new catalog then. The stamp set and dies, I believe, will are going into the new catalog. Okay, so there's my little background. I'm going to take some stamp and seal. I meant to get my order in real early this morning and then I just, you know, how things go. I procrastinate. Low potassium. Oh, we have bananas. I'll try that, Donna. Thank you. I will try that. I'm ready to try anything. Okay, so I showed you how the dyes work on the on the paper. So the paper isn't carrying over. Oh, that's so sad. I love this paper. See how they just fit right on there and you just run the whole thing through and you end up with all these little butterflies. So I'm going to use the um, Mint Macaron one. This little, um, I don't know what the red color is on this paper. Blushing Bride, could be Calypso Coral, little Calypso Coral, and this tiny little, this one for sure is Calypso Coral, and then we're going to use these for something else here in a minute, and I kind of folded their little wings and then adhered them to the front of the card with Stampin' Dimensionals. And if you're coming in late, I completely cased this card from um, Martin. I want to say Martin Short. Martin Law. Martin. I'm going to get his name because I want to give him credit. Yes. I thought I had it. Martin Stone. And if you, cased is copy and share everything. So I basically took his card. I changed up a couple of little things on mine, but um, I thought it was beautiful in that he has a well-deserved place on the artisan design team. <laughs> I have been following him for a long while. Like I said, he is over in the UK. He's just cute little guy <laughs> and he does lives every day I think he used to anyways does a lot of lives on Instagram or goes on stories whatever see how easy that was don't you love that okay then I have these little strips these are 3 8 inches wide and this one is I think it's 3 5 8 and this is that new paper. It is called Natural Touch Specialty Paper. It's really cool. I, can you see the shininess? And it almost has a texture. It's almost like it's a piece of um, paneling or something. It looks like real wood. I was really impressed with it. Um, <laughs> 
So I'm going to stamp our sentiment, I'm thinking of you. And for the sentiment, I am using just a stamp from another one of my favorite bundles, the Art Gallery stamp set. And I'm using Memento ink. And I'm going to try and get this on here even. It is pretty. Well, the, the art is so pretty. Those, that paper just really is gorge. Okay. Then I'm going to just flag the ends a little bit on these tags. Like I said, this one is 3 8 inches. And I think it's about three and a half inches long. Yeah, it was about three and a half inches long. This one is five eighths inches and it's four inches long. And I'm going to adhere my little sentiment on top of it. Might be way too much glue. Okay, I'm going to trim this down a little bit and I'm going to flag it. Okay, if you're here, if you're on and you're from Kansas City, are, are have you heard that we're getting eight inches, Donna, of snow? <laughs> Where have I been? I have the news on when I get up in the morning. I must tune out when the newscasters <clears throat> chime in. Rachel, my daughter just called and said, well... I said, she said, do you have milk in it at bread? <laughs> I said, actually, no. Four inches. Well, that's not bad. I bet it'll, it'll, uh, it won't stay long. Yeah, too warm to stay. It was really raining hard this when I got up. My little dogs did not want to go outside. But I made them. <laughs> okay, this, I'm going to uh, raise up my uh, tag with dimensionals as well. Just kind of work those wings up a little bit. Gives it a little dimension. It's so pretty. Okay, and then the last thing I did was put some sequins on there. I'll see if I can do this quickly. I'm not too quick at this. It's going to be 45 tomorrow and 52 Friday, Rachel. Well, yeah. So, so it's supposed to snow tonight then. I need to turn my weather on, I guess. <sighs> I watch the Today Show with my coffee when I get up. And um, Lindsay, I'm trying to remember her name, from Channel 41, if you're from Kansas City. 
They're giving out a winter weather advisory. Wow. Um, I must not have been paying attention to Lindsay this morning. I check my emails and all that stuff, so I'm a little distracted. And I'm using the triangle. You always want to have like a little three-step triangle and see we have that with our butterflies too or Martin did that and he also did his sequins like this so and then down here you'll notice he has um, another triangle so your eye it's supposed to be pleasing to the eye I think these black ones look a little dramatic with it. <laughs> the National Weather Service giving out winter weather advisory. Wow. Well, I'm having chili for supper, but I need some tomatoes. So I better uh, get out of here soon to go get my tomatoes to make my chili. <laughs> I had everything else. And who doesn't have a can of tomatoes or t crushed tomatoes? Or who doesn't have that? I didn't. I had everything else. I just felt like some soup, something hearty. This might be the last chili of the season. Who knows? <laughs> okay, there's the card. Isn't that cute? Um, okay. So now we have these other um, butterflies left. And I am going to show you a 3D project. You can make another card. I certainly would not get rid of them. Where is my little candy? It's just a little pocket. I stuck a Hershey's Mini in there. I bet you could put a Ghirardelli. That I would get maybe a pastel Ghirardelli. But that fits in there perfect too. And they're super simple to make and super, um, super cute. So you're going to take a piece of um, cardstock. This one measures two and three quarters, I believe two and three quarters by six. And I'll have all of this on my blog as well. And then I took two pieces of the designer series paper. This one measures two and a half by two and a half. This one measures, I think one and a fourth, one and three quarters by two and a half. So we're just gonna put that on our pocket I forgot to mention the scoring. We'll do that here in a minute. I'll show you where I scored it. So you take your little strip of cardstock and use your um, scoring blade and you score it at two and two and a fourth. Let me show you. So my trimmer has a scoring blade and I'm going to go two and then two and a fourth and that's just going to help make crisp edges. Now if you don't have a scoring blade on your trimmer and you don't want to invest in a new one, you can also take um, a bone folder and right in the groove. Um, make your score line. 
A bum folder or a stylus will work. One of the reasons I love our trimmer is it has that scoring blade that's attached and I don't have to remove anything or add anything and it just makes it quick and easy. Okay, so here's our little uh, score lines that I folded and creased. We're going to fold that up like that and take a paper punch and make a hole here. And a hole over here. It's a little tough because it's four layers, really. Um, and then we're going to take some baker's twine. This is some white baker's twine. And just tie some bows on each side to keep it closed. It kind of unraveled on me. There we go. It's <laughs> cute. You know, before I go to the grocery store and get my bread and milk, <laughs> I, I'm going to put in my order because I want to, did I mention free shipping today? I don't even think I mentioned that. Today is free shipping uh, till midnight tonight. Um, and I always love that. And it doesn't happen very often. So... Like maybe once a year. So this must be it. <laughs> okay, there's the little pocket, and then you stick your little candies down in there. Isn't that cute? And then you can just, um, all I did was take one of the um, butterflies. This one's kind of big, but it's cute. I'm going to put the blue one on. I think I'll make a card. Keep an eye out. I make a card with these these last few butterflies. I'll just post them as they happen because I am enjoying using this this afternoon. I've been having a good time. My craft room, my studio is getting pretty pretty good in shape. It's nice. I still have some things to go and ways to organize that I need to do some things. I'm waiting, still waiting on some things. Um, but where did the other card go? <laughs> we had two. Oh, here she is. <laughs> so that's our projects today, the card and uh, the little treat holder. Aren't those cute? Those would be fun for Easter. They would be fun for Mother's Day, a baby shower, a bridal shower, um, co-worker gifts, just a little treat for someone. I always like to, to make up quick and easy things, and that was so easy. 
Um, thank you girls for joining me today. Um, stay safe, stay warm. Um, hope you don't have to shuffle too much. And I will see you Monday for um, Make It Monday. If you have any questions about the suite or the free shipping, don't hesitate to contact me, message me. If you use the host code, you will receive a free gift from me uh, during the month of March. So use the March host code that way. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.